Happy St. Patty's Day, y'all. Are you wearing green today? I am wearing my husband's Miss a Hippie shirt. It's supposed to be like a three-quarter length sleeve on him. Pretty much a long sleeve on me. You guys know what time it is. It's Thursday. We always do my Goodwill hauls on Thursday. I got a bunch of this stuff for a dollar. I went a little buck wild this week. I got a lot of good stuff though. I got some stuff I've been looking for for quite some time, years now. Uh, all this stuff I do plan to list online. By the time you see this video, this stuff is not gonna be listed. Give me a few days. Uh, but yeah, let me show you what I got. You know these videos are always collabs with my girlfriend and fellow reseller, Tanya. I'm gonna link her video down below so you get that extra Goodwill haul greatness today. Okay, so as you can see, my pile is starting to actually already fall over. So let me show you what's on top. I am hoping that during this video, FedEx pulls up with my men's thread up rescue box because I have been waiting over a week for that thing to show up. Okay, y'all ready? I, if you're new here, I like to start with the best stuff first. I don't make y'all wait. I am so excited I found this. Bryn Walker. Have you guys ever sold this brand? This is a size extra large, sleeveless orange dress. It's in really good condition. Um, it has a really fun floral print on it. Bryn Walker does really good. This one dress, y'all, is gonna definitely pay for everything I bought today. Hoping to get at least $50, $60 for this dress. I think it's season appropriate. It's a great size, no flaws. If you've never found Bryn Walker or you never tried picking it up, give it a shot. Okay, here was something I was super excited to find. I pick up anything basically from this brand. It's Patagonia, women's size small. I have got to wash this because someone literally drenched this thing in their perfume. Okay, uh, regular retail was $4.99. I don't think I showed y'all the price tag on this. Let me show you. I'm going to show you all the stuff I paid retail for uh, first. Bryn Walker, $6.99. Was not mad about paying that. Yeah, Patagonia is a great brand. Uh, this is just like a fleece, half zip, women's. I think this is blue. It, the only thing, it does have an R, like, embroidered in the sleeve. I don't know if that's from a company or what. Um, oh, actually, no, it's a full zip. It's a full zip, and it has a zipper here. Never mind. Okay, anyway, yeah, I love to sell Patagonia. Hoping to get 40 to 50-ish, maybe, on that one. Uh, okay, something else I paid full price for, $3.99. Visconti Black, this is a size medium. Uh, these are men's button downs I pick up from this brand. Uh, this is black and it has really cool buttons. Let me show you the buttons on the sleeve. They have all these colors in them. Really cool. Um, I like to pick up this brand. Probably will sell maybe 30 to 40. But yeah, I've had good luck with Visconti, so I'm gonna continue to pick it up. Um, oh, this was cool. At first, I thought this was fake, to be honest, but I, I'm pretty sure it's real uh, because of the inside tag. Uh, Harley Davidson, size large, and I did pay full price. Let me show you that. $4.99. But look at the back with all the rhinestones. How cool is that? The rhinestones definitely help it sell. But yeah, sleeveless, full zip. This tag looked a little odd to me. I don't know why it looked odd. Um, so I looked in the inside, and this tag looked legit. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a real Harley. So, yeah, hoping, I don't know what I'm going to list this for. Maybe around $35, $40. I've had very good luck. I don't know. If, I think I've sold everything Harley, except I have a kid's jacket that's been sitting like a little kid's hoodie, like a baby hoodie. Other than that, I think I've sold every piece I've ever picked up. Um, okay, are we getting into blue tags now? Okay, yeah, so everything else is blue tag. Blue tag was a dollar this Monday at my Goodwill, so I got all this stuff for a dollar. This is a funny brand, uh, Gooch. <laughs> 
It's a men's brand. It's 100% silk. It is missing the top button, but I couldn't leave this behind for a dollar. It's just a really cool purple and green abstract 100% silk top. And I personally think it would be awesome anyway to wear it open like that. So I don't think the flaw's too terribly bad. Uh, very fun shirt to wear on vacation for sure. Okay, this is a cycling brand. I had never heard of it before. I didn't even look it up. Um, it was a dollar. It was new with tags. So I figured, hey, this is a nice piece. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. B.A. Leaf. Um, whenever I looked this up, a lot of people were putting cycling. So I'm guessing this is a cycling company. This says it's a size medium. Um, it kind of looks like a men's medium. It feels like it's a little big for a women's medium. But maybe I'm wrong. It could definitely be a women's as well. Uh, I'm going to have to try to see if I can do a little bit more research and figure it out so I don't mislabel it. Uh, but yeah, size medium, gray fleece, sleeveless, zip-up jacket. Um, going based on comps, I didn't see a ton. I'm probably just going to mark that cheap. Like, I paid a buck for it, you know. So probably around $20 for that. Uh, blue tag. So I don't have the best luck with this brand, but I liked this piece. This is Tahari. And it's 100% linen. I love to sell linen. Size medium. And it is just basically a top. It does seem pretty oversized. Uh, this would be great to wear, honestly, as a beach cover-up. It's see-through. Yeah, I really liked it. I didn't see any holes on it, so... Yeah, because I got that for a dollar, I'm not going to mark it up too much. Maybe $20. Try to move it. Okay, I love this piece. I was shocked that this sat around for a uh, dollar day. So in case you guys don't know, dollar day, like how this stuff becomes a dollar is it has sat in my Goodwill for a while. And I think after like a month or two, they mark it down to a dollar. And then after that, I think they may throw it away because our Goodwill outlet just shut down in our area because we did not have enough people shopping there because it wasn't that great to be honest with you okay eileen fisher size large and this is just a sleeveless like open front cardigan it is really long in the front so i've done great with eileen fisher this is silk let me tell you i, I want to say it's Oh, I don't know the percentage. Let me look at the material tag and tell you. When something's silk, I definitely put that in the title. Yeah, so it's 8% silk, 42% viscose. Yeah, Eileen Fisher size large. That's a great size. There is some ribbing on the back as well. So yeah, definitely excited to get that listed. Okay, here's something brand new with tag. I love to pick up new at tags for a dollar. This was Ann Taylor. This was $80. I know some of us resellers, we can like put our nose up at Ann Taylor uh, because we're like, oh, it doesn't sell that well. It doesn't resell that well. But new, y'all, this stuff is expensive. Anyway, got this for a dollar. Let me tell you the fabric content on this one. I think this may have a, this may just be 100% cotton. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. It's a really pretty color. It's like this light pink color. And it is just, a, I think it's, does it have any buttons? Yeah, just an open front cardigan in really good condition. Obviously new with tags. So yeah, definitely couldn't leave that behind. Um, I don't know how much I'll price that at, maybe 25 to 30. Oh, okay, this I was excited to get, uh, blue tag. This is Land's End. I've had very good luck selling Land's End, and I'm going to try to pick up any piece I see for a dollar before they get rid of it. So these are Land's End, and this style is called the Mid-Rise Trouser Jean in a size 6. These are white. I didn't see any stains on them. Um, I didn't get it under the ring light yet, so maybe when we get it underneath the ring light, We'll see. Yeah, I'll have to look these over. Uh, but yeah, I've had really good luck selling lands and specifically the pants, the pull-on pants. Those do great. 
Oh, this is Columbia. I get Columbia all the time at Dollar Day. We have so much Columbia in my area. It's not even funny. Size small. And this is just a black little, it's kind of has like, um, kind of has a quilted pattern on it. This is just about a three quarters, or not three quarter, a <laughs> one quarter zip, long sleeve, probably lists at around $25. I love to pick up anytime I see anything pink as far as like blazers. They've done really well for me in the past. Blue tag, it was a dollar. This is J. Crew factory size eight and I think this was linen let me go back to the material tag real quick oh and this is reimagined by J crew first time seeing that tag I have to look that up I don't know if that's um if that means it's worth more not really sure okay it is 53 percent linen yes okay so really nice I probably should have looked this over for holes I don't see any right away Anyway, it's just a hot pink, bubblegum pink blazer. I love to sell pink blazers. I'll probably list that one around $25. All right. That's probably going to end up falling. <laughs> okay, do you guys want to see my fail buy? So, I was ready to check out. And I usually always, I literally don't know if I've ever gone thrifting and not gone through my cart before going to the register. But on this specific trip, I had so much in my buggy, I had somewhere else to be, and I was like, let me just go to checkout, and whatever I don't want, I'll just tell, uh, Brandon was with me, I was like, I'll just tell Brandon to go put it back on the rack or whatever. This one skipped by me, and I meant to look it up. This was normal price, you guys. I would have never paid this for what I'm about to show you. I paid $8 for this. It is new with tags, uh, 21 cents, and apparently this brand is sold at TJ Maxx. And, you know, I, I spent $8. I think I could get $8 back. But looking at comps, I mean, I'm not expecting a lot. I mean, if I'm spending $8 on something, I'm usually trying to get at least $50 for it. No way I'm getting $50 for this one. Um, I'd be lucky, honestly, probably to get $20 or $25. Okay, it's a one shoulder. It's a dress. One shoulder, long sleeve dress. It has a cutout on the side. I'm hoping I can get this on my mannequin and make it look nice. Um, yeah, just a sexy little dress. I'm definitely going to take off the TJ Maxx tag. But yeah, 21 Saints. Never heard of it. First time ever picking it up. I'm definitely going to just try to list that cheap, like 20 bucks, and just try to make my money back. So yeah, we all make mistakes. That was just a mistake I made. I, I never do that, y'all. I usually never buy stuff that I don't mean to buy because I go through my buggy. Just didn't do that this week, but learning lesson. Okay, blue tag. That We're getting back to dollar stuff. Chico size 2. Always have great luck with Chico's. This is just a really nice open front cardigan, knit cardigan. Y'all know I do well with Chico, so probably, I'll probably list that for around $25. Okay, more white pants that I actually did not mean to buy. Uh, they were thankfully just a blue tag, so can't lose too much money out, right? Rocks and Indigo. Y'all ever heard of Rocks and Indigo? I threw these in my buggy because I wanted to look it up because it looks like it, it reminds me of the Free People uh, tag. That's how some Free People tags look on the pants. Anyway pair of white pants. I looked these up. I probably can get maybe 15 to 20 for these. They seem to be like an ankle length. Anyway, size 12. I'll just let those go cheap. Try, probably try to listen for 15. Um, I may keep this. I don't know. I'm going to try this on um, and see how it looks. It's really pretty. It's kind of like that off the shoulder look. Embroidered. Can you guess who it is? It's not Johnny Was. It's MG. Um, anyway, it's just this really pretty embroidered top. It has probably, I don't know, it's like a bat wing. This probably goes three quarter lengths of the way. Yeah, really, really nice knit top. If I listed this, it's probably going to go between 15 and 20. But like I said, I'm probably going to try to Put it on and see if it works for me because I think that's really pretty. Um, LSU size small. This is just a hoodie. Uh, blue tag. Anytime I'm getting LSU for a buck, 
I'm gonna pick it up. This will probably go for around $20. Um, I am gonna start putting, if you guys missed my last video, I announced I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace now. I have heard from other people that sport teams, college gear, things like that, that does really well on Facebook. So I'm definitely gonna work on bringing all of my LSU stuff over there. Most of my LSU stuff has sold, but I do have a couple pieces still left and I'm gonna list that over there. Um, so if it doesn't sell on Facebook, it probably will sell on Mercari. That is where I usually have luck selling that stuff. Uh, Torrid size one, have really good luck selling Torrid. This is just a cool top. It's like a knit top and then on the shoulders, there's all these studs. Uh, size one is a 1X. Yeah, probably maybe a 20. I know if it has like studs or skulls, especially if you have like skulls on your toward pieces, that definitely does the best. Um, okay, blue tag. You guys, <laughs> I just took a chance on these. Real tree size small. Anyway, they're just a pair of camo brown, uh, like basically yoga pants, lounge pants. I mean, if you like camo yoga pants, I doubt there's a ton listed for sale. So I don't know if someone's searching for that. I got them. I got you covered. I'll probably list those around 15. Um, this, this is cute. Blue tag. This is Wild Fable. I do like to pick up Wild Fable for a dollar. It was 28 originally. And this is just a little jumper. You can wear a cute little, like maybe like a white turtleneck or something underneath it. It's basically a faux leather skirt. It has the buttons on the side. Yeah, brand new. Probably list that for around $20. I don't think I'll take the $28 price tag off because I am gonna list it under that, so. That's just what I do. You you do what works for you. I know some people take off all the price tags, but I feel like people know Wild Fable isn't going to be like $80, right? Okay, seven. Not seven for all mankind, but seven. These are size eight. These are the Bermuda shorts, and I thought it was going to have another style name. Anyway, they're just like a pair of pinstripe, seersucker, Bermuda shorts. Uh, one of you guys in the comments before on one of my hauls said that the seven capris do great. So I have been trying to pick up capris, shorts, things like that. Uh, another dollar item right here. Uh, this is a brand I actually never pick up, but I was watching a thrift haul, not from a reseller, just a, a thrift haul on YouTube. And one of the girls, or the girl that was filming, she said, she picks up Zara when she sees it at the thrift stores because she loves to wear it. And then I read her comments and a lot of other people were mentioning, yeah, I love Zara, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I decided, let me go ahead and give this a shot. I know it's not going to go for much, uh, Zara size medium, but it's really cute. It would be great over a swimsuit, has a lot of colors going on. So, yeah. I thought that was a really cute piece. I uh, have no idea what I'm going to list that at. I mean, not for a lot. Probably like $15, $20. Okay. Another blue tag. This is one of my favorite brands to pick up. It is Lane Bryant. And this is a size 16. There's the Lane Bryant tag. And it is just a sleeveless um, embroidered tunic top really good condition um probably list this for maybe like 18 dollars all right another blue tag this is lucky brand size 26. i don't pick up lucky brand a lot but i thought this style would do good for me it's a denim like pencil straight skirt um, this goes down to your knees. I'm going to put modest in the title. Anytime I have denim skirts or really any skirts in general that go down to the knees or below, I do try to put modest in the title because I feel like that does help them sell. Another blue tag. I've never, I need to look these up because I didn't even know Old Navy sold this. Well, that's probably sounds like a dumb statement, but okay. Down here, I'm surprised they were selling this. This is Old Navy 
59% recycled wool pants. I Now, I don't shop at Old Navy, granted. I just didn't realize they were selling wool pants. Anyway, they were selling them for $38. So brand new, I decided to go ahead, give them a shot. There is kind of a weird spot. I don't know if you can tell on camera. You probably can't. I saw it in the store. Uh, anyway, yeah, just a pair of pants. I'll probably list these 25 to 30. Um, but yeah, that was my first time ever seeing wool pants from Old Navy. Never seen that before. Okay, another blue tag here. Um, this is a brand I'm going to try to sell more of. I usually uh, sell this brand on ThreadUp. It's Calvin Klein. And it does sell well for me on ThreadUp, but I'm going to try it myself. I'm going to see if I can sell it well. Uh, it's a striped long sleeve dress. I thought it was cute. So, yeah, I'm going to try to list that maybe around $35 and just see how it does. Um, another blue tag here. Um, this is brand new American Eagle. And let's see how much they wanted for it. Okay, well, they put, I guess this is a clearance sticker. They put a clearance sticker over the original price. Let's see if we can tear this off. Let's see how much they really wanted for it. Okay, it was actually, here we go, $39. I try to rip that off. $39, brand new at tag, size large. Or, yeah, okay, yeah, size large. And it is a dress. If I can get this thing going. All right, here we go. Or is it a romper? You guys, I buy this stuff and then I forget what I buy. Okay, black embroidered dress. Has some lace on the racer back design. Anyway, I'll probably list that for around $20 and hope it goes quick. Okay, last piece that I did um, go up to the register and ask them to change the price on. Do you guys do that? <laughs> Some people are probably rolling their eyes at me right now. But they had priced these at $3.99, and these are underwear. And underwear is supposed to be a dollar. So I just very nicely went up to the register while I was checking out. This was my last thing, and I said, hey, these are underwear. Uh, Y'all priced them as men's pants and shorts, but because they're underwear, can you honor the underwear price of a dollar? And she said, absolutely. It was mismarked. And that was the end of that conversation. It was very easy. I know some people maybe don't want to barter for a few dollars, but um, let me tell you what these are. I keep talking about bartering with the Goodwill employees. These are dry fire, size large. So these are flame resistant, basically underwear layering pieces. I use all the keywords. Um, flame retardant underwear does really well. My favorite brand is Frog. If you ever see F-R-O-G, it's usually right here on the underwear. Buy them. They sell for $50. I know. I know. But these dry fire, these are probably, I don't know, these may go for around 30 but I think they were still a great pickup. I got a pile of clothes about to fall over. There it went. All right, y'all, that's it for today's Goodwill Dollar Day haul. Let me know what is your favorite item that I picked up in the comments below. Bryn Walker dress definitely was my favorite. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I actually resell clothes. I would love to have you. If you came over from Tanya's channel, welcome. We love to do these Goodwill video collabs. We love to go to Dollar Day. It's the best day to go thrifting in our area by far. Make sure to go check out Tanya's video in my description box down below, and I will see y'all soon this weekend for a Thread Up Men's Rescue Box unboxing. That box should be pulling up any second. Super excited to unbox it. Oh, by the way, I just got access to YouTube Stories, so I'm going to try to post a YouTube Story every day. I think if you just go to my channel and click on my profile picture, you can see all my stories. You can see what I was cooking last night. I made a shepherd's pie for St. Patty's Day. All right, you guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. I will see you this weekend for that Thread Up unboxing. Bye, y'all.